Hey folks, I want to just quickly review the new announcement. Cursor 2.0 dropped yesterday and I think it's actually pretty interesting. So we're gonna go through the main features that they are describing and I'll give you my opinions on some of them. Number one that they're announcing on their announcement page is the ability to run multiple agents in parallel multi-agent execution. This actually I think is quite crucial because it shows the tendency that we're going towards more autonomy in these systems, meaning that we have less control over specific items in the code and more autonomy for those agents and we're pushing even further now. I think this is one of the focuses of the Corsair is to push for more autonomy. And I agree that makes sense because we can not just do more, but with the right approach or on a very good level of quality, but it requires us to give up certain level of control. And the scary thing is that the more autonomous they become, the more of this control we have to give up and the more effective those systems will be. So that will select for the systems that are actually more autonomous and run, say, more and more agents in parallel. And yeah, that, that is how artificial intelligence is going to be taking over this thing. Now, obviously the advantage over here that you can do more and they control it with the work trees in Git. As you can see, they finally changed the interface and they made the central position for the agent rather than for the editor. And there's these two modes on the top left that you can switch between that show you basically how to... Yeah, so there's two modes over here that allow you to switch between the old way and the new way. The new way being agents uh, being in the center of all of that. I think that's actually convenient that most goes directly towards agentic focus, same way as we have with Claude Code and some other agents as well. Now, the next announcement they have over here, which also I think is quite important, is a Composer as a model. And they're like kind of saying, introducing our first agentic coding model, frontier model that is 4x faster than similar intelligent models. Now, pay attention, they're not saying that this is the smartest model, they're saying that this is the fastest model. And they're actually not claiming at least over here, maybe I don't know about that. So my assumption is that it's a combination of some sort of LLM and some smart context engineering on their side to enable that, which is great. But the game is pretty clear over here. They want to become suppliers of the raw intelligence rather than be intermediaries between the users and the large language model providers. I mean, that's pretty obvious play on their part, although I don't really envision myself switching to that model. I'm probably going to keep using Entropic family just because it works best for me. Now, browser becomes general availability. Uh, so that's quite a useful tool, especially working with front end. And honestly, I'm using that not just for the engineering tasks, but also for some of the business related tasks. And we'll talk about that in separate videos, but I think these agents are as good for running business operations as they are for coding. I'm going to skip over the code review because I wanted to pay attention to this sandboxed terminals. I think this is a very interesting and important feature that they have done because these agents are getting more autonomy and with more autonomy, they're running in this YOLO mode. That means that they can do pretty much anything. You know, add a lot of the stuff into a allow list for the efficiency sake and for the autonomy sake. But that means that they can make a mistake and break something within your system unless you have sandboxing. And there's, there are different ways of doing sandboxing. I prefer to do sandboxing with Docker, running my agents within Docker, just to make sure that they're completely sandboxed and not gonna ruin anything within my system. These guys are sandboxing terminal specifically, limiting it to a particular work directory and also limiting internet access. The voice mode. Oh, that one is interesting because I'm, I'm actually, that has been expected for a long time. I think they should have added it maybe six months ago because about that time I have found for myself Whisper Flow and using that daily and I'm not changing that for their version because Whisper is working everywhere and this is just the version for the cursor. Improve performance, plan more than the background. That is pretty cool, I think. That's the mode in which the planning can be done somewhere without your control on the backend. 
while your agents are working on something on the forend. And I think it's in a prototype kind of step, stage right now, but it will develop into something more sophisticated when you will have a constantly thinking agent on the back end, continuously looking for improvements and planning the right implementations. Again, team commands, nothing I can contribute here. Improved prompt UI, improved engine hardware, and, and a bunch of other stuff. But look, the point is, I think, is very clear what they're focusing upon. They changed the interface to allow for more autonomy and more focus on the agent rather than on the code. They are trying to introduce their new model as a frontier model for coding. We'll see how that works. And yeah, they introduced sandboxing. So I think it's a little bit of a fundamental change in Cursor, refocusing the default option to more agentic interfaces. And yeah, healthy improvement, especially considering that this autonomy focus is the key thing that the competition is working upon, such as Cloud Code, for example. So yeah, hope it was useful. Cheers.